you lost, sir? Not at all. I'm right where I need to be. I'm Sherlock Holmes, by the way. Ursula Oni, the chief archivist. How can I help you exactly? I need to take a look at the history of Cordona and its islanders to retrieve some, hopefully, useful information. Your brother Mycroft told me that you were direct, and now that we've met, I can see that is true. Someone in our family has to balance the evasive nature of my brother. Well, may I use the city archives? You may, of course. But in return, perhaps dinner? That's a high price to pay for looking at your archives. <laughs> I was teasing you. Pay no attention to me. With your love for archives, you would have made the perfect bureaucrat. From day to night, Aiden stands there, recruiting non-rebellious workers for the dig. The Market Square, beating heart of the old city. I wonder if they still sell that here. Oh, oh, she sat on the best well carpets well on the done. island. Sir, kind sir, might I steal your attention? I am not buying. Ah, that is the thing. You won't waste a single mangir. I am a digger, you see, and I have heard of a dig site so deep it clogs your ears. I want to be there. Why are you telling me this? I have heard of a man recruiting for such a dig. A man with a scar, such as uh, the one that you're hiding. And your boots are dirty with the deep clay I am so familiar with. Oh, I, I hope it wasn't too rude of me to point that out. You have a good eye. And you just want to dig? Dig deep and that's it? What's the catch? Are you in desperate need of money? Oh, there is no catch, sir. I won't even ask for advance pay. 
Just give me a shovel and I'll dig a hole like you've never seen. Huh. Is that so? Well, I have to ask you an important question first. Would you be fine working for Brits? I am all for them. Well, you say that, but can you prove it? I'll sing you a very special song. God save our gracious queen. Cut it! Or people here will make you their queen. I can also speak in limericks. Please don't. You might be a little bit weak in the head, but a natural born digger with a keen eye is what we need. Take this permission slip and go to this address. The guard will let you in and check with the professor once you're there. Oriental rug. Can I ask you a question? I like you, friend, but I can't help you. Stop loitering and get inside. Newcomer, talk to the professor first. He's the old fellow with the glasses and the plans. Where's the fire in your eyes? Where's the smile? I am sick and tired of seeing apathy among the new workers. Sir, believe me, I do have the spark. I want to start work straight away. It's as important to me as it is to you. Ah, that's the spirit. I'm on the verge of a great discovery. I am ready to work. Splendid. Do you know what I am working on? Archaeological treasure. Ah, uh, you're hoping to find something priceless, something that will change our history. Bravo, young man. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's true. We're looking for Vitus Lemonius's tomb. I'll help you. That is my goal as a worker. Good. Listen to me carefully, then. I hate repeating myself. I am Professor Swift. We have three rules here. Don't touch anything. Always return the tools, and don't distract me unless you find something. Sounds simple enough. Are you the only one in charge here, Mr. Swift? Yes, I am the only one, and no one else. You hear anything other than that, it's a lie. People of your kind can have difficulty understanding who's in charge. Take a minute, memorize my face, and then get to work. Oh, I will definitely take a closer look to memorize my superior.
I wish I could be as passionate about something as you are, Mr. Swift. You value knowledge and dedication over everything else. It's a long road, young man. A sharp eye and attention to detail are the only stepping stones along this path. You have to sacrifice everything you love for the larger prize. Exactly. So much in life is uh, superficial. I wish more people would understand. I never heard a truer word, lad. Folk will ignore what truly matters in life, and for what? Convenience. Bold words indeed. I doubt that many scientists would be willing to support their bragging with fieldwork. The academic world is full of restrictions. Our honorable professors are too afraid to dirty their hands. God forbid if they have a stain on their shirt. You can follow in my footsteps. You can start learning by returning to work. Show me what you can find. Don't touch anything here. Get back to work. This reminds me of my father's room. A plan for this whole operation. This might prove useful. I'll note it down. Straw dolls. Eerie, but effective for a scene recreation. Oh, I want one of these. Or two. Oil cloth. Won't fade and waterproof. Enough here to make tent sails and more. Sharpest pickaxe. <laughs> A guilty pleasure of the real archaeologist. Missing your Laura, Mr. Swift? Hey, a word about the trilogy. Right then, you literary expert. You, what was so important about these books? Or did you simply need some kindling? It's inspirational. I have a plan. 
Are you listening? I wish I wasn't, but I am. So, we catch a monkey, a langa, for example, then we extract some blood from it. What? Why? It will make us forever young, Sherry. Page 127 of the second book. Oh, I am so done with this. No, wait. Then how about we make a wax statue? I've stopped listening, John. Swift lost his temper when he learned what happened to the statue. Somehow, the text remains legible. Let's see if I remember my Latin. Goddess? A mother. Someone's wife. A sickle for harvesting. The ancient Romans honored the seasons. There were four statues here originally. I wonder what the three other statues look like. I see now. Mr. Swift didn't realize the significance of the statues.
It seems everything's in place. Now, let's see what this has to tell us. Here is your discovery, Mr. Swift. Hey, look at this. What have you found? Don't let anyone touch anything there. Eureka! I found you, my friend. of darts, handy against rodents of all kinds. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Trying to take over my research, are you? I come here to pick up my diary, and I find you snooping around. Explain yourself. Mr. Swift, if that were true, I would have been on my way to the newspaper. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I didn't have a chance to introduce myself properly. Outrageous! You deceived me, sir! What is the reason for your being here? Who sent you, Mr. Holmes? Theodore Gildon's premature death brought me here. Theodore? Is dead? How can that be possible? I'm thinking of all the possibilities, and I'm not crossing out anyone who might have been involved. Even his elephant. The land you're excavating belongs to Mr. Gildon, does it not? Did I hear an accusation? I have nothing to hide. You can ask me whatever nonsense you've prepared as a token of my diminishing respect towards you. Very well, Mr. Swift. I appreciate your cooperation. Were you at the site this morning? Affirmative. This project is taking a lot of my time, as you see. I spend more time underground than on the surface. When did you learn about Theodore's death? Just now. You just told me. And you aren't surprised, shocked. I won't tell anyone if you shed a tear or two. Weren't you partners, after all? We were. And it is a real shame. But I've seen too many deaths in my life, Mr. Holmes, for the news to truly shake me. 
When was the last time you saw Mr. Gildon? A couple of days ago. We discussed the site. I believe in the tomb and its secrets. Theodore's patience was stretched, however. He was already inventing new projects. It wasn't a long conversation. I suppose that his daughter will inherit everything now, along with all of the eccentricities and problems. And not forgetting Goliath. Eccentricities and problems, Mr. Holmes. One of many. Will you allow me to return to my research? Or are you insisting on remaining an obstacle? Oh, I haven't even started yet. You have a weakness for nostalgia? Or, rather, do you use it to record a list of enemies? Young man, you need to check your moral compass. Reading another person's diary is a sin in every culture that I can think of. But you aren't answering the question. You've already read it. Why bother? I simply record my life to keep my memory clean from misinterpretation. Letters and pages don't lie. But the writer of the text can. With this book, you attempted to plan an attack on the elephant? Your insinuations are out of place. Goliath is a frightening animal. All I wished to do was to understand the creature. As any scientist would do, I researched, analyzed, and drew conclusions. Hmm. And what conclusion did you draw? That Theodore Gildon made the animal miserable. He couldn't provide the proper environment for the beast. My interest in the subject ended there. What's with this box of darts? Is it for a scientific argument? A little darker than that. Rather for killing the kind of rodents that might nibble a nose or a toe in your sleep. Let's just say I have to protect myself against a larger animal, such as an elephant. Might it be enough to stop it, make it faint? If I were you, I wouldn't bank on it. Moving on. I'm a busy man. As far as I can tell, you're a man of the academic world, so this book about Nabe and Laura is just an empirical study? What? That nonsense? I'd prefer to lose my eyesight than read such trash. So, you know nothing about it? I know nothing. I wish I'd never heard of it in the first place, this caricature of science. Do I hear traces of envy? You're still relatively young that you might find your own Laura. Perhaps I envy, Nabe, for I cannot simply blow people up for distracting me. That's all. You happy now? Wonderful. I'm a busy man. What's with this intricate recruitment process? Pro-British workers charge less? As a head of this organization, I need to secure a productive environment. It's impossible to do so if there are political differences, especially here where the native population doesn't support our efforts to find the ancient artifacts. Decent pay can also stimulate productivity and shut down any political discord. Hadn't you thought of that? You're young. You have time to fritter and fight with everyone you meet. I don't have such a luxury. Our workers receive enough pay for what they do. So don't start a discussion you know nothing about. I've nothing to add. I've nothing to add. I'm a busy man. Your partner had a very specific attitude towards the things he treasured. Was this habitual for him? That would have been too much even for him. Don't get me wrong, he had a harsh temper. Like a true businessman, he was ready to burn his competitors to the ground. But threatening someone physically would have been something new even for him, am I correct? Absolutely. Besides, I had never seen him this angry. The fellow who received the letter must have been extremely alarmed. Gildan's Elephant is quite an unusual addition to Cordona's fauna. What is your scientific opinion on that? No matter how much Theodore loved it, it still remained a wild animal trapped inside a stone pen. Goliath needs savannas, fields, lakes. I'm sure that Goliath did not have a plan to kill his owner to head to the savannas. What do you think? No, 
Animals don't kill in a typical sense. I can only presume that it tried to protect itself from captivity. From Theodore. It was a gilded cage that was predestined to break. Moving on. I've nothing to add. Remember one of the rules? It uh, seems that you didn't return a tool. Is this knife yours? Do I look like a fellow who carries a knife? I don't need it. There are plenty of uses for it on the site, and outside of it. I have other people to cut ropes for me, Mr. Holmes. Moving on. I'm a busy man. Have you seen this person before? The one beside Imogen Gildon? No, but he's with Imogen, so I suppose that he's a friend of hers. That girl always has her head in the clouds. I could have said Theodore was different, but that wouldn't have been entirely true. Away with the fairies, was he? That's one way of putting it. Either way, I don't know much about Imogen's life or her friends. The type of elite that pretends to be educated. Did this plan cause a rift in your business relationship with Theodore Gildon? Nothing like that. Admittedly, we didn't share a common vision of what is more important, the past or the future. In my opinion, we can't build a future without knowing the past. So you wanted to save the tomb of Vitus here, or perhaps your control over the research? Only the knowledge that rightly belongs to humankind, nothing less and nothing more. <laughs>